What is up, everybody? Matt with Mikey Designs here with Shannon the Shop Gnome. Yo! Say hello. I just did. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Yo MTV Raps? I don't know. Just came out organically. Came out, yo! Yo! What is going on? So, if you guys are just tuning in, we're going to give it a few minutes for... Um, whomever is going to tune in to tune in. And in the meantime, we'll just uh, keep it on our little screen here of me printing some t-shirts. <laughs> that we should happened probably months ago. change that up a change little Change it up every now and then? Yeah, because you can only look at you doing <laughs> the same blue shirts so many times. Oh, I, I can look at it for forever, but it just would drive me crazy. <laughs> well, that's kind of the... <laughs> point <laughs> Let, let's see who we can drive crazy with this little hold screen while that is not the way to get more of everybody viewers. everybody tunes in <laughs> so anyways we, we hope everybody's doing well and hey Rye Beats. we appreciate all you guys that are tuning in what's going on Rye Beats? hopefully your your monday is has been going well and Rye Beats, are you are you father if so Happy Father's Day. Late, Actually, Happy Father's belated. Day to everybody. Yeah, Happy Father's Day to anyone that's tuning in. It was Father's Day for myself as well. And I drew Matt a card and gave him a six-pack. Yes, <laughs> which I will be sipping on that a little bit during the show. It's all but I could manage without a car. He had to like go deliver shirts, and all I had was a corner store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Uproar? Hi, Uproar. Oh, thank you, man. Are, are you a father yourself? Up hey, or Sonny. A bachelor. Still bachelor. Just kind of uh, doing your thing. What's up, Sonny? Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. But we, we hope uh, everybody's Monday's been a good one thus Woo! far. It's It's been a, a rainy one for us. <laughs> Ravi says, $14 holla, Sonny G. <laughs> Must be some sort of inside. Glad joke you can make that it, I don't Sunny. Really, uh, really understand. I get the fourteen dollar holler, but what's a fourteen dollar holler? Um, maybe they care to explain, right? <laughs> Would you like to, to explain the fourteen dollar holler? Shannon, Shannon comes from a, a little bit more of a, a sheltered culture than I'm used to, and others are used to, although. I'll say that um, I'm I'm pretty jealous of some things, though. So. Like what? Horseback riding. Yeah, I did. Get, like, I actually, I went to Catholic school, and I did get my own pony. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I went horseback riding, I think I was um, I was about two or three. Oddly enough, I remember it. I remember some stuff from a long time ago, and I just remember my foot, the horse getting too close to the tree and just smashing my foot in between the tree and the horse that was that was not a fun experience my yeah. horse ran into into a tree and died yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think that's a whole nother show <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the trauma that's, that i suffered like through like my animals <laughs> that's a that's a pretty epic story i'm i'm amazed at that story which um it seems Arr! like it seems like one of those things that's hard to Hard to believe. Sunny Gray bought a fourteen dollar burrito when we were at ISS. Okay, so there is no like. You know, oh, like, is is that? So um, there is a like dirty like or you know inappropriate message in that that I would be embarrassed if my grandma listened to. Okay, so I, I think I saw that episode where uh, basically Cam, Rye, you you film for a little bit, and then what was is Sunny the the dude that bought. The burrito was kind of crouched down by the uh, on the, the the sidewalk. Was that what was going on? Is that hey, who Mark. Sunny is? <laughs> Fourteen dollars? No way. Too much. Well, is is probably one of those convenience things where uh, they had the the burrito and you were hungry. The ISS willing that we to went go. To had free beer. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, right. Says yes. That was it. That. That was pretty hilarious. I I saw that whole episode and that was uh that was pretty funny. I'll have to I'll have to show Shannon so that way she's kind of up to speed. 
but Cam I did. can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it was a video log of them at the ISS show in, um, I guess, Long Beach. And uh, Sonny is the dude that bought the burrito. They were kind of giving him hell about it because uh, he, uh, well, I think he was bitching a little bit himself because he couldn't believe he bought a $14 burrito. Okay, it's. When do you want to uh, go live? It's seven oh five now on the dot. We are live now. I mean, okay, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and and kick things over, and then uh, you can look at my mug while I, I sip on a, a little beer, and and Shannon and I kind of banter back and forth. Uproar! It's I'm not included in any of the funny inside jokes, so it, <laughs> it's funny, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's saying it's um it's funny how they all have their little cool inside jokes with everyone on YouTube. I'm like I'm I have no I have no yeah. jokes. I, I don't either. <laughs> I'm not included in any jokes. I, someone made me in, someone include me in a joke. <laughs> someone tell me a joke. <laughs> Rye Beats already has one. Huh? Rye Beats already has one for what? you. It's well if if he remembers from uh last last show it uh never mind I don't, I'm not gonna bring that up. That's probably a, a sensitive subject for you. <laughs> the the little nickname you're like oh please don't call me that i don't even remember what it was oh just just I, give no, ryan a minute the, he probably the, doesn't remember either it wasn't remember. like that big of a deal but uh anyways let's get things going guys hey studio 23 studio 23 what's shanny. up dude? <laughs> yes shanny hey what's going on guys matt Hi, with mikey designs here <laughs> We got Shannon, the shop gnome, Woo! just across that away, and uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in. And we'll we're gonna just kind of BS a little bit and see what everybody's been up to. And then also we wanted to talk about some of the wholesale vendors that we do use because I was watching oh, a video, and it's uh, another guy that is. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot, but. They essentially were buying shirts through Jiffy Shirts, and I just thought that, uh, no, don't buy shirts through Jiffy Shirts because you're paying way too much. Do these few things, so that way you get better prices on these shirts. So if you're new to screen printing and you're buying Jiffy Shirts, or, or from Jiffy Shirts, not buying Jiffy Shirts, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, little brand name. No? What? No. Nothing? No. no. Never mind. That's never mind. Me. It was stupid. <laughs> I'm going to go cry now. Shot, got shot down. Totally. Completely. You know what? No. We're just, the sh show's over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, so we're, uh, we're going to talk about some of the wholesale vendors that we do use. And if you're new to screen printing and you're not already signed up with some of these vendors, I suggest you do it because it will save you a lot of money. We actually, Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we actually just recently signed up with S and S. Like mm. we were, no, we were mostly we were going through TSC, Sanmar, Alpha Broder. Not yep. a big, I'm not a big fan of Alpha Broder. I think they're too expensive, and they're oh my they god, they are. Shipping. They're um, yeah. I, I hear they they offer screen printing as well. Is that right, guys? I've I've kind of heard that. They're I, they're kind of our. our competitor a little bit everybody's competitor well shit why am i buying those shirts <laughs> off of there they, they okay. have some stuff that but we no, need we so we can make we got money SNS and like you know i'm kind of the one in charge of you know ordering the shirts now and stuff yeah. and i think oh, yeah. they're amazing i'm and i'm not plugging them because they're not paying me to if you yeah. want to you can sns if you hear this um yeah. but they have like a huge amount of like they just have a huge variety of brands. The only thing that pisses me off about them is the loss of cash discount. That actually really yeah. annoys me. Yeah, they they all kind of work in their their yeah, own little it. way like, to be like, like really high this is how much to like everything else. This is how much you are saving, and then they find some way to just kind of stiff you a little bit on some sort of stupid charge. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, like, but that one is like loss of cash discount. But then if you do COD, I haven't tried to do COD with SNS, but I know with San Mar, if you do COD, mm, yeah. like they all of a sudden, it's a really, really different number when you have to. Right. Yeah. Because we, we um, okay, so it was like 
X amount of dollars for the shirts. And I, I think it was a pretty big order. It was about four or five hundred dollars worth of shirts. And then they're like, okay, we're going to do the COD option. And then um, the total that they sent us. And then when they dropped them off, it was like, I had the. We already uh, had the check ready. Had the check ready to go. And they're like, no, no, you, the, it's for this amount. So I'm like, what? <laughs> I had to tear that check up. And then uh, and we don't really carry checks. We have to like actually yeah, go to yeah. the bank to get. Damn it! Checks. Why does this thing never work? It was working last time. There's no live feed going on there. Uh, okay, um, I swear, OBS. Do you want to get to a couple of questions because there, there have been several. Yes. Um, First one is um, Studio Twenty Three. Yep. What's um, going on, dude? He's looking for a conveyor belt twenty-four inch. Um, he works out of his house and inch. he wants to know what we would recommend. Um, what you would recommend 24 I inch, know. you know, and, and that's one of them things where I, I, um, I don't want to sound biased, but because I, I have ran our equipment we have a 24 inch, 24 inch belt conveyor dryer and it, it's a, a forced air dryer is, it was really affordable. I, I looked into all those other guys and um, 24 inch conveyor dryer. I, I really, you know, I, I hadn't done a whole lot of shopping for equipment lately. Um, I don't want to go plugging a whole lot of other companies, but uh, really and truly, um, I don't know. There, there's a, there's, there's a lot of companies out there that have competitive prices and whatnot, but uh, I mean, the one we have is a, a 24 inch. It's an eight eight foot long conveyor dryer, and it's a uh, damn. I'm trying to think of the model number. I think the DT422, and it it has forced air, and it's it served us really well. We actually just paid the thing off. We took a little bit of a loan out on it. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, just don't let it out. <laughs> Which was an issue that we really there's, had to go through in Harvey. There, I mean, there's uh, there's Vastex. I'll just go ahead and say it. There's Vastex. They they have a 24-inch conveyor dryer as well. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I kind of not really a fan of the, the look of their equipment. Um, they have some pretty good warranties on their, their equipment. Um, but um, I don't know. Just something... When I got my, my press, I kind of wanted to keep things uniform. And, and plus, I just, I don't know. I, I didn't really care for the, the look of their equipment, even though I'm sure it's probably served a lot of guys well. Yeah. Um, what, Studio 23 what's the is question? asking how much power it draws, the one that we have. It's 220 volts, and I think it's somewhere around 22, 23 amps. And... Um, if you are working from your garage at home, the, the way we kind of plugged ours up when it was in the garage was just straight to the dryer outlet, which was kind of a pain in the ass, but I didn't have to hire anybody to come and put a separate outlet in. Yeah, but I um, had to get you to change it every time I wanted to do laundry. Yeah, yeah. He but didn't I trust mean, me to do it. But I mean, really, really, and truly, we um, I I think for the most part, we have about depending on the week, we have about. Well, this week we're going to be printing our butts off practically every day. But mm. I would say for the most part, it's it's about three days out of the week where we're just like really hitting it hard all day long printing because we have uh, quotes and and clients that we handle. Um, in between printing because there's uh really and truly we kind of tag team the uh both aspects from invoicing to uh taking an order billing them and then we'll go out in the shop together i'll print and she stacks the shirts that's kind of our formula we tag team both them. of it 
It's actually kind of embarrassing how proud and I am fold of them. Like, the way that I fold. No, <laughs> you shouldn't be. No, my it's... mom actually made fun of me once. I was like, I came up with like something really cool for the business. She's like, what? A different way of folding? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I'll say that your your folding skills are it looks are top not yeah it it looks really good. I mean I used to when it was just me I used to take the shirts, stack them on top of one another and then just kind of fold the sleeves over and then fold them in half, stick them in the box. But now that Shannon's kind of came up with a, a really great way of kind of packing them and being able to fit more shirts in a box. Um, anytime she is really in the office and I'm, I'm printing and I'm stacking shirts, I'm just like, I feel, I feel like I'm not doing a good job over here with the, the stacking well, of the shirts. I'm not going to lie. Like I've watched you pack after like, you know, I've got like, you know, really practice at it. I've been really annoyed. Why? <laughs> because it looks so terrible compared to No, mine. it doesn't. It really does. Nobody's ever <laughs> Bitched and complained about how I've stacked shirts. They don't. Okay. <laughs> They've they have not complained, but at the same time, I, I will say that we've uh, together we've stepped it up from getting the sizes mm-hmm. all organized together. We used to just get them and then just print them and then fold yeah, them well, and toss was, them in a that box. That was like kind of like a thing that I came up with, like just doing like as we were. As I was stacking them, it was just, yeah. okay, let's save some time. And by the way, we have two more questions, so I'm going to wrap that part up. Okay, so um, anyways, well, that's not even what we Mark, meant to talk about. Yeah, but. no, we were going on tangents because we're wonderful at that. Uh, Mark <laughs> wants to know uh, how much you charge if the customer provides the shirts. I, and I think we covered this a little bit last we, time. We did. So let's say, for instance, if a client wants to provide the shirts, then we basically subtract the amount that the shirt would have costed us at wholesale and then charge whatever we're going to charge. So essentially we're still charging for our time. I mean, there's time when we kind of do contract pricing to get certain clients, but for the most part, we really just charge if we know if let's say if we were providing the shirts we know we're going to charge x amount of money um if they're if they say hey we're going to provide the shirts then what we do is subtract the wholesale price of that shirt and we say here's the price shannon what uh, you, I, you I seem a little like, it kind of hasn't been what i've been doing lately with the pricing because a lot of it has been um like super expensive wholesale shirts. Oh, with the uh, with the the orders that aren't like your standard yeah. gilded five thousand or had, two thousand. We've had a bunch of those lately, and so what I've basically just been doing is charge right. for like whatever, like you know, like an average of what a gilded I don't know two thousand would be. Right. Between like versus like, so, the white and the colored shirt. So I'll, I'll charge like the average of that. Because I mean, like you're making money no matter what. And yeah. I, I can't, I don't feel right like, you know, like double charging like for a shirt uh, that's like $13 just wholesale. I would say really and truly um, figure out um, how much, oh. how many shirts you're printing a month and then what your overhead is and what you and need I, to charge. I, Based on how many shirts you're printing a month, and what your overhead is, and and I do want to. Shannon's got a class. Yeah. Well, Shannon's the thing got is, this a. Is what I, that's what I do when Matt's not available. But uh, Matt has this amazing like, little like program written out where he figures out the overhead and this like the pricing for profit thing. He's right. It's awesome. And um, <laughs> when he's available, like for asking, I'll go ahead and just be like, hey, I w- tell me what I need to charge this person because. <laughs> I'm terrible, terrible at math. I... Yeah, so uh, essentially we, we do have a kind of matrix pricing chart on our website, but that is for the printing only. And yet, but it does hey, not up. consider, it does not take into we're, fact we're that Maxwell? if A1, someone, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that someone is, if they're providing shirts, then we have to mark those prices up to kind of compensate. Because we, we make, profit off of reselling these shirts and then printing on them. So. And it's a 
business, you know? Like, we're not here it for is. freaking charity. Yeah, they, we'll, we'll do charity work and stuff, but, you know, when, actually, they, when they provide the shirts, I don't think that a lot of customers understand that they're not actually saving that much money, or if any, when aside they provide from, their shirts because they're not going through wholesalers. Aside from Angela, which she Angela, had her own business, then out. she's like, no, I'm, <laughs> I want it. Oh, I'm so it. embarrassed. Yeah, I, I, I want it for this price. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> she knew. Ah. But no, but you don't, I don't know. Like, but for the most part, the okay. customers don't. We love you, Angela. Yeah, we do, actually. She's so sweet. <laughs> she hugs me, and she, she hugs me every time. Uh, but no. They don't get it. Like they just they go to Amazon. They buy they buy the stuff. They pay the shipping. And I had to sit down and talk to my uh, one of my clients a couple days ago. And be like, look, it's gonna be this much if I provide the shirts. It's gonna be this much if you provide the shirts. But keep in mind, a you're not paying for shipping. She's B you're gonna get point. the wholesale pricing. And you don't have to worry about it because I'm gonna hunt down these shirts because it's a discontinued color. So what do you want to do? And she's like, yeah, you go ahead. And I was like, fantastic. And it was I'm a so, Bella canvas. I'm so <laughs> like, proud of you, Shannon. Thank you. So, it was a Bella canvas, like $5 shirt, too. <laughs> yeah. So um, to, to sum it up, really, if you, graphics. if you know what you're, you generally charge and they provide shirts, whatever wholesale pricing you generally would get it for, just subtract it from that. And then you're still making the same money. Unless it's like a stupid amount, like. You know, one of those like forty-four Nike shirts. Yeah, that's that's when you just okay. kind of have to know your your pricing for uh, matrix. Your pricing for profit type of Actually, situation. Actually, Express Graphics and Decals says he came up with a very handy calculator. I was sharing the link to the Google sheet in the Print Life group. Oh, really? I'm you know, we would love to check that out. Um, if you don't mind. Put that if you can put that link in the uh, the description of this this live feed. Um, we would love to check that out ourselves. Um, we're not. Uh, Hi, Russell. We're still learning as well, and so if, if you have something you want to share, uh, I mean, we're we're very knowledgeable, but also at the same time, Him I more than me. We're we're open to suggestions. We're not. Uh, we're oh, not going to claim to be know-it-alls. Oh, are Hi, you in Ava. Rosenberg? Okay. Well, um, what's up? We have another that's, question. That's right, kind of right down the street. We're in Humble. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, what Ryan is Beats the question? was asking about if um, polybagging shirts uh, for customers, if it's a hassle. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it, I'll, I'll give the honest answer. It's worth it. It's not so much a hassle. Um... You know, we really don't come across that very often. Every now and then we'll have clients that are starting off t-shirt lines and we, we have bags that we got from Uline and then little stickers and all that. And generally they want the, the label printed inside their um, shirts that they're selling. But I mean, if if um, you print your shirts and you're bagging them up, it, it tends to go pretty quick. It, it can be a little hard to get the, the hang of, but... Um, there's just really not a whole lot of money in. It, it's kind of like an upsell. We do charge, though. You know, it's like you go to McDonald's and they're like, do you, would you like to upsize your fries Super and your size. drink? Super size. It just shows how often I go to McDonald's. But, uh, it, I mean, it's one of those type of what situations. What does that mean about me? <laughs> it doesn't mean crap. All right, continue. I don't know. What, what would you like it to mean? <laughs> That I'm oh. pretty and you love me. <laughs> you are pretty and I do love you. All right, continue. That she gave me a, uh, I think she's about to kill me. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of like one of those uh, kind of upsell things. If, if a client is just wanting kind of a, like a Gildan 2000 Ultra Cotton t-shirt, it's like, well, you know, these, these uh, soft style shirts are only X amount of, cents or whatever i think we generally charge about 50 more cents and it i guess it just depends on what the sell price is right shannon what i'm confused i thought we were talking about putting the shirts from uline in there what is the <laughs> anyways the the point is the the point is is uh, i mean there's not a whole lot if someone came to us and said i have all these shirts and i want you to bag them i'd be like no <laughs> bag them yourself we do, but it's, we it's do part offer of it. it's, we offer it, so. it's it's an upsell item 
really is what it it's is. It's good for like the like, the people that are going to be selling their stuff on Shopify or um, if you know like the one offs that we do like the vinyl and stuff. Right. It's kind of like a quality. It's a way to like polish off your. Yeah, there we go. Kind of polish off the, your final product, really. So. But if it's like if I, everything's in bulk, hell no. Don't don't knock it though, Rye Beats. It's it's cool. Um, I I think it's a, a great thing to add in addition to this the services that you're providing. But really and truly, we don't do a whole lot of that. I just do it if I'm bored after like we've done like a one off or something. Yeah, and that's that's another thing too. If we've charged somebody a good amount of money for a t-shirt and it's just a couple t-shirts, we'll fold and bag them just as a uh, just a presentation way and exactly. it makes them it's, happy. It's a lot so. of presentation in that and it works because one of the things that no matter how long that we're going to be doing this thing, I'm going to keep emphasizing customer service, customer service, customer service. Good old customer service. Because it will bring you more business. Hell, I had a, I had a call today from someone that would just said that the, she just had the nicest things to say about you. So we're probably going to be going <laughs> with you for our spirit team and for the rest of the year for our school. And I was just like, awesome. We yeah, had awesome yeah. things to say about her too. And and that was one of those clients where Customer we service. just kind of, uh, kind of uh, exceeded their expectations, gave them a good price on their shirts. And uh, it was, it, it, it was one of those situations where, you know, maybe you're not making the the profit when, it, like, generally we kind of shoot for 30, 40 percent profit, and it we didn't exactly make that on that, but that it was an is, investment. Yeah, that's leading into them just wanting us to do all their stuff. And it's a so, school. It's a PTO. It's it's a school, and so now um, we'll be go we'll be doing a, a lot of their stuff, if not all of it. Hopefully all I'm of it. I'm telling you That'd guys, I'm telling you guys, like, I, I, I think like a lot of times, oh, because we also had like, um, that girl that came in, the vinyl girl. Which, I'm she sorry. She came in, she came in, she wanted a same day order and I was just like, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I, it wasn't uh, the best that I could that? do. It, well, it was the best I could do at that point because our car, um, the, car, the one car that we have here, mine's still in over in Tomball. Uh, right. The, um, yeah. the best we could do is like, look, we don't have the color vinyl, but I'll tell you what you can do. Bring the shirt, go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, pick out some uh, Caesar <laughs> hat. I actually know that's actually the right um, pronunciation. Caesar. That, by the way. Yeah. Caesar vinyl. Mark. In uh, the color you want, bring it over here. We'll do it. So, so Mark, we, we answered your question. I think that the best we could, Wait, what? Un unless we, um, uh, unless yeah. you're asking for like a specific amount of shirts and colors, I mean, we could tell you how much we we would charge for it. Um, so if someone provided shirts, uh, we kind of answered. Mm. I mean, we answered the question. I thought so. You. Yeah. So I mean, the the answer to the question is. Hey, what's up, Studio 23, Oregon in the house? He's been, we've already been talking to him. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> we answered no, his I, question, too. I, I, I know, but he's just saying, or I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm still getting used to this, this life -y stuff. But, um, yeah, Mark, uh, I mean, if you have a job that you're <laughs> needing help with, quoting for yourself it's going to be different for everybody so i don't know it really depends really... on overhead and like where you need yeah. to be yeah how much money do you want to make how many shirts are you okay. cranking Uproar, out Uproar um has a question too yes what is that question i'm looking at the chat it's here. how often do we get customers that want something using simulation processes or cmyk often that would be uh, that would aside be from CM <laughs> cmyk oh God, uh well, I mean, we have. Oh, a, that was sublimation. Never mind. We have a, a job right now that we're um, working on this week that is spot process, and it's it's actually a re repeat client. It's the the Space Cat. Hey, Sandy. Shannon. And then we did a, a simulated process print just yesterday. Um, Actually, no, it wasn't yesterday. We printed them Saturday, but delivered them yesterday to the church. 
and it, it was a four color spot process but it was all black and white it was a white base black gray and then another white because uh it is just a grayscale image on a bunch of color shirts and i'm actually recording a video um I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to to kind of properly print a black and white image on black shirts and then if if it's uh on color shirts how how to do that as well incorporating black into it so isn't a shirt you're wearing cmyk yeah the the shirt i am wearing cmyk the the cmyk really and truly we don't do a whole lot of cmyk process where when we do get into cmyk process is because the job that they want done we basically with our six colors if if we if it, the job is needing like 12 colors to make things happen then we'll use cmyk printing with uh, an underbase and on a, a manual press uh, the, the way i kind of handle it is i'll do a white base uh, I'll, I'll print and flash it a couple times flatten it out use a flattening screen and then uh do the cmyk on top but you know, I'll, I'll print the yellow, magenta, cyan, and black, but I'll flash in between all those colors. And I'm flashing between that because the, the ink is, is transparent for the most part. It's translucent. It it just stacks on top of one another, and you're able to do, if your your press is like, like us, we only have six colors to work with, um, I'll, I'll use CMYK. But it's very tricky because getting all the different shades correct you have to you have to tweak it there's been times where i've tweaked a, a job a couple times and if uh magenta tends to be the one that gives me the problem you can the most. do it hi you can do it but uh i mean simulated process yeah we we do that quite a bit yeah Actually, we're going to do some, some, we just did, well, those firefighter shirts. We got some more firefighter shirts that we're going to do. I don't want to talk about the firefighter shirts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a this sore man subject. made it for... so amazingly difficult. Um, okay, so we've got um, Sundry Custom Design and Prints is asking, I'm going to purchase a conveyor dryer tomorrow, and I'm having trouble decide, deciding what size to purchase since I am working out of my basement and don't want to pay for an electrician to come in. Um. Well, I mean, there's conveyor dryers that will plug into a household outlet, but at at that point, it's going to be like one of your small conveyor dryers, which is absolutely fine because that's that's what I I started out with, and it paid for itself pretty quickly. And instead of but curing the shirts with the flash, he, he also says though, um, I would hate to be back um, to be back here down the line when I get into a shop and want a bigger one. Well, the, I mean, you could always just sell it, really. I mean, that's what I did. I, even though, sure, you're going to not get what you paid for it, but, I mean, really, I, I think generally what screen. money that goes screen, towards a new one. Yeah, it, I mean, it, or, or you can hold on to that smaller conveyor dryer, and you might find some sort of use for it for, like, uh, maybe if you decide to do live screen printing, it, it could come into use for something like that. I kind of wish I hadn't sold mine. I, I bought mine for close to two grand, that little uh, scamp dryer, and then outgrew that quickly and bought the, the conveyor dryer we have now. And I wish I hadn't got rid of it, but I just, um, I don't know. I, I really wasn't considering the live screen printing thing, and it was just taking up garage space, so I, I got rid of it. I think I got uh, about a 1000 bucks for it after I sold it, but I put it to use for a year and a half. It was, good, it was a good little dryer. The only issue is with the, the smaller ones, you're going to really only be able to do about a 12-inch Image. Rye Beats makes a very good point here. Yeah, yeah. what is a uh, Rye He's Beats saying you can always point? hold on to the smaller one and use it for live uh, for live printing or backup. Like, yeah. Which is like what you were saying. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, uh, hold on to it. I, I wish I had held on to mine. I kind of kicked myself in the butt because I got rid of it, but I, I wish I had. Live, um, live printing would be so much fun. It would be. Live printing would would be a lot of fun. And then and everyone could actually meet the shop gnome. 
<laughs> exactly. And plus, it, it kind of gives you a, a little bit of an opportunity to do something a little out of the norm from being in your garage. And uh, uh, we we like meeting people. And so I, He's that's also something to buy it. That's uh, <laughs> that's something we'll we'll be looking into in the future. Um, so, man, start out with that small conveyor dryer. Don't don't be scared. Even if you decide not to do anything live printing wise, you'll, I mean, it, it will fund the cause. It will help your business grow, and then you can get um, at least half your money back if you take care of it. If if not more, how it's good a of business? How good of a negotiator are Everything you? Everything is an investment for the next bigger thing. Right. It, it's kind of like when you buy that smaller press and then you outgrow it and you buy the bigger press. Mm -hmm. Who knows? If, if you've held on to it and... Oh, uh, we'll have to hook up where I meet. We'll have to meet you there. Where at? Where? Uh, he's going to be at the ISS show next uh, next year in Houston. Oh, you're going to come to the, the Houston ISS show? We had a lot of fun. Uh, that was. I tried. I, I tried to do a video log of <laughs> us going to the ISS show. It, it probably would have turned out to be like a really fun uh, video log, but I'm the kind of person that, um, so I started, re I have all these clips of, of, of us going in and, and just all these cool kind of B-roll shots. And then we got into the yeah. show and I was just kind of like, yeah, it's not near as big as some of the <laughs> other shows. Well, I think we and get kind so, of spazzed a little bit because we had to, um, like, the lady had to fake our badges. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we so were, that like, would have been nervous. That would have been hilarious to, to get in a, a video <laughs> oh, log. Oh, she would not have let that happen. <laughs> but really and, and truly, it just, it, it's kind of like, uh, for me, if I'm at a concert, rather than being that person that's behind the camera, I'm just kind of, like, soaking everything in. And, and that was just... Um, the first show for Shannon to go to. My second show. Um, it was so much fun. They had free beer. Free beer, <laughs> free food. We went to a little after party thing, and it was a lot of fun. We we ate and had drinks for free that and day. Geeked, uh, and you guys geeked out over video and logging. nerded logging. out with, with some uh, other screen printers, and uh, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. So, man, if 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 you come down, we'd we'd love to hang out with you, and it'll, be it'll be a so good much time. Fun. We love meeting the people like you know that we actually you know interact with and stuff. Oh, and yeah. uh, Rybeat says yeah. you should um, upload it. <laughs> I I should upload what video I have. Mm. Okay, I didn't even know you're I, taking videos. I was so I spazzy. <laughs> I I have it. I'll uh. I'll upload it. It's not a whole lot to look at. I was like, <laughs> here, is here is the, the beginning George of... George R. Brown Convention Center. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just the outside of it and then nothing <laughs> after the fact. But um, I'll upload it. I mean, it's kind of like when we were doing moving into the shop. Like, I have videos of You us. can do it. We'll see you there then, too. Go on. Uh, I have video of uh, us kind of doing a lot of that stuff, but then just got overwhelmed not necessarily overwhelmed but just it was a lot of work in itself and then just video logging the whole thing moving into the shop just sometimes it's it's a little much it's a little too much and uh i just kind of like to enjoy the experience yeah uh, that's kind of the times. way i felt about it too i was like stop freaking thinking about work and, and you, enjoy and enjoy like you, you know the things about work i guess <laughs> what are you doing video logging while we're setting up shop i'm like i think this is cool and i just kind of wanted to, to the video log it but also at, at the same time it just at a point it it just became i don't know i i didn't want to i, I, I felt like i was kind of experience everything experiencing everything through a um through a camera really so yeah, and I was kind of like, just not. I wanted to be. I wanted to be there with you, you know, connecting with you yeah. and like experiencing it and together instead of like watching you just camera it, like it, thinking about you know your next video for it. It, it was. I don't think but it was I so much fun. uploaded a video for a month when all that was going on because it was just it. It was a, a lot of. 
it, we had so much going on, and so I didn't want to like put the added stress of the the whole trying to video log and may, like upload videos and and meet like at least uploading something weekly type of deal. I don't know. It, it can it can get overwhelming. I don't usually. know. My parents um, playing with the kids, though, on the um, U-Haul is actually really cute. Oh, I, that I was, would have liked a video of that. That was hilarious. That was cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. If, if next year, any of you guys come down to Houston, give us a holler. You can, Please. You can, you can go to our website, MikeyDesigns.com. Our phone number is on there. Give us a call. Or you can email us or um, do the whole... Uh, social media thing we we'd prefer an email or a call because uh sometimes keeping up with social media i am on not top of it. on top of our our work day in and day out it's, it gets hard sometimes yeah instagram hard. is my job and i think i posted today for no. the first time in like a yeah. week and a half two weeks <laughs> I, I i don't no. know we've been really office busy though to be fair we have been yeah we've uh we've been busy and it's it's awesome but also at the same time, um, you know, I, I can definitely tell when we're neglecting a lot of the kind of social media type stuff that uh, I don't know. Who knows? Can't maybe. wait to meet you either too. Wait, can't wait to meet you too, Russell. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so next year, we're down for it, guys. Y'all come on out and. And uh, we'll hang out and we'll, we'll have a good time. So, does anybody else have any questions? If not, I'm going to go in quickly into the, the vendors that we do use. So, if, if you guys are new to the channel and you're new to screen printing, don't use Jiffy Shirts or BlankTees.com. Anything on Amazon. <laughs> or Amazon. You, you'll save yourself a lot of money by using these vendors that we... Oh, Acura. About this, you, uh, you can do it. It's getting accurate. Oh, that's awesome, man. Wait, wait, wait. The, that's the, awesome. Isn't that the one you're going to be doing the... Um... Oh, uh, so one of the things I, I have not mentioned just yet because I'm waiting for the new version to come out where... It's going to be a beta tester. We're an official reseller of uh, Separation Studio... Uh, we, we tried getting on board with Accurip as well, but I'm thinking oh. that Separation Studio may be combining those two together. So they're going to be sending us a beta version of it and training us on, on how to use it because we have Separation Studio, and that's what I use for doing a lot of my uh, spot process separa separations because it's quick and easy and it's... It's a pretty powerful tool, but they're stepping it up even more. They're going to uh, allow you to be able to, to choke back your your underbase and to in, be able to incorporate vector and all that. So I'm I'm excited about that coming out. But AccuRip, AccuRip Black, that's what we have. I I love it. I have been using AccuRip since probably the the mid 2000s in the other job that i used to, to work for which they screen printed on latex balloons um you have to go and check out one of our video logs um or i, I might just post that up as a, a separate video well, but that was pretty unique but. you can do it he's actually kind of worried that he's gonna be able to i'm um, not gonna be able to figure it out he's like i hope i can figure it out there i mean there's not a lot to it um what what printer do you have what 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 model printer and uh, what application are you are you using Illustrator or Corel Draw? I mean it's it's pretty straightforward. Can you block um, people on this? What's that? Can you block people on this? On what? The live stream. Why is someone someone bothering you? Someone's just trolling. That's all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you you can block someone, I'll but have to figure uh, that out next time. Anyways, go on. Anyways, uh, so, oh, we're talking about Hans Holtz. Mm. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, uh, anyway, so. Yeah. The, the, right? The Thank point you, Imagination. Is, uh, put user in timeout. I'm putting you in a timeout, dude. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so, um, let me, let me figure out how to get this troll off here real quick and uh um 
hide user on this channel, remove. Let me report them real quick. Uh, anyway, so this dude has been reported and uh, I'm gonna hide his, uh, hide his crap. But uh, so Accurate's not really hard to figure out. Essentially, you're just gonna hook up your printer. It will find your printer and then really and truly the the next uh you just need to, to know how to adjust your lpi for whatever it is you're printing and it's it's pretty simple you'll it'll allow you to do some test prints and then you look at those test prints you um, maybe i'll do a tutorial video on on how to do that but it's really not that difficult let me see if i can um pull that up on my screen real quick and and show you how that works with our uh, little desktop view but um, give me one moment and see okay. if I, I can kind of help you guys or, or, or help you out with this All let right. me just hide a few things all right well well my uh, while he's figuring that out and everything I actually kind of wanted to ask a question of you guys um, is this working for you guys? Like, you know, this co-hosting thing? Because we, the reason we kind of decided to do it was because we didn't think that a lot of people did. And uh, I just want to know, like, how's it working out? And constructive criticism only, please. <laughs> 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 Nobody be mean. Let I just me, want to know, uh, like, if it's working out for this you guys. And um, if it's at least, like, somewhat uh, unique or different or anything like that. I just want to see your feedback on doing um, a team you know i i think live show. oh thank you there you have it see so um i i, I enjoy doing this and shannon uh, i i know she enjoys doing it as well so l let me just uh we'll come right back to that shannon real Roy quick again. And, <laughs> Shanny. so i mean once you have the the program open really and truly edit configuration it's gonna have your your printer the style printer uh, we have an epson artisan 1430 thank you sunny 13 by 19 is the standard size that we use um, we use the multi-black setup and so that selected 1440 by 720 is what we use uh, the density to, to get a nice opaque uh, film six tends to work for us without using up too much ink Aside from that, when you have all that set up, really and truly, you don't screw with the, the angle. Um, you're just gonna mess with the, the LPI. Uh, 45 is what I'll use for a 230 mesh, and then um, 55 for like a 305. <laughs> and that's it, that's it really. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back, and I'm gonna address Shannon's. Well, Ryan um, says it'd be nice to see the face of the other person. Oh, I know. I tell her. I'm, I'm like, we, uh, we were thinking about starting another channel where we just kind of play stupid uh, retro 8-bit games. I'm like, I'm going to make you get on one of these channels because it's going to be Mostly it's going to be cussing at him or at the screen. Right. And so, right, Peace, I'm, I'm working on it, dude. Don't worry. I'm going to get her. He said, Ryby, you can do it. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her on here one of these days. Hopefully. No. I don't know. No. I don't even have a Facebook. She can be scary. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know. I've, I've, I've told her the same thing. I'm like, why don't you just get on? We'll have a little camera and we can bounce back and forth or have like some. Little because I'm the ugliest screen. person in the world, and you would like, I'm like Medusa. You would go to, you would turn to stone if you saw me. <laughs> She's lying. She's just making up excuses as, <laughs> as to why she doesn't want to put her face out on the internet, and that's really what it is. She doesn't want to put her her face out on the internet because uh, it's it's a kind of a, a privacy thing. And for me, I'm like, I don't care. Hey guys, hi mom. Okay, so also it adds to my mysteriousness. <laughs> yes, it it adds to her her troll uh, shop gnome. Did you just troll. call me a troll? <laughs> I did call you a troll. And I don't think it was the internet kind either. Oh. 
you're not not a troll. You know, it's funny. I don't know if we've ever told this story, but um, uh, how how the shop gnome name came up. Hold on one second. Is that the UPS? No, no, no. Okay, I, I thought it was. Was okay. that you on the desk? Uh, well, yeah, I was kind of... Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Um, we're waiting on UPS to, to come pick up a package that needs to be delivered. Um, but... Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. We have time to go into the the, the shop gnome, uh, how that came about. Have we talked about that? It's only in my um, bio. You can go to our our website and, and check it out in, in her little bio. But we will talk about it next time. If you guys tune in, remind us about it. Um, we're gonna talk just real quickly because <laughs> I feel like we should have talked about this earlier, even though we threw some names out there is a uh, wholesale vendor. So if, if you're new to the screen printing, the wholesale vendors that we do use are TSC, Sanmar, SNS, and Alpha Broder. I'm kind of, Alpha I'm not, Broder's I'm not kind a of guy. I'm not Alpha Broder. Alpha Broder's God. expensive. But kind they do have like, bad they, they have unique um, brands though. And they do. Stuff, and stuff that you're not going to be able to find in other places. They do. But God, they charge so much more. So what you need to do to be able to sign up with these accounts is you'll, you'll need a, at least a DBA Thanks, and a, 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 a resale certificate for your state. And then you just send your information over to them. They'll sign you up for an account and then you're not paying the Jiffy shirt prices. I think that was pretty simple. I think that was simple enough. Your shirt's very dirty. It is very dirty. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just getting a, another beer. It's, it's uh, well, it's it's my um, Father's Day present, so I want to um, take care of, uh, not take care of, or take advantage of. Uh, We're off work. It's my, fine. Yeah, yeah. And we still got some stuff we got to do too. We still got some shirts we that, the office. that we're fine. gonna we're gonna print. <laughs> so we admit it. Doors locked. Doors locked. Nobody's coming in. We're closed. We're closed for the day. So, um, I'm going to have a, a cold one because I feel like I, I deserve it. Okay. And, um, when it comes to, no I, I want to add something to the wholesale vendors thing. Um, go for it. Cause I think I told, I think I was mentioning last time that I kind of have a, um, thing right now against freight. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. So one of the things that I've been I even actually did this with one order ice because one place had, I had an order of four shirts, one only one place had them, and then we had this order of like 160 shirts that was gonna put us at freight, like free freight. So what I did, and the price difference would actually balance out if I did half of them with the with San Mar, who had my shirts that I the four shirts I needed. And I could still get free freight with the other ones. And in the end, we ended up saving, like, just because, like, I didn't order those four shirts by themselves. I think we ended up saving, like, $30 in shipping. Yeah, definitely. So, it's, like, I've been learning the art of, like, just bundling and then trying to figure yeah. out, like, ways to um, get the separate packages to everybody in a well, way that the uh, more <laughs> the more uh, expected customers i'm trying to, i'm trying to see this uh, the so more expected we, customers um, <clears throat> would view as acceptable to receive them in but for the most part god just bundle 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 it saves you so much more money and it, it will save your your clients money um, you'll be able to get them uh, a lower mm. price on <laughs> on their screen printed shirts <laughs> and uh um, it, it yeah, they could. yeah i mean and it, you're kind of doing them a, a a favor too yeah i mean you're you're kind of doing yourself a favor and, and them a favor because you're you're able to just kind of uh save them money so and they they always who doesn't appreciate saving money right okay and we have one more question sundry russell um how do we go about finding our customers? Uh, he's, we've 
he sees we've been around for a while, so I'm guessing YouTube isn't it, but do any of you try to use this as a platform to do so? Absolutely. Do we use YouTube as a platform? It's, it's one of many platforms. Um, I, I will say that word of mouth is going to be your biggest one first. Mm -hmm. uh, a website is... A good way, just SEO. A website um, is non-negotiable. You have to have one. Right. So, so put up a website and look into, uh, go on YouTube, look into SEO plugins for WordPress or or some. I, I'm not really. I use WordPress, so uh, I like to, to use Yoast. Although Yoast has kind of been giving us some problems lately, but the point is. SEO your website that will help get your ranking up. Uh, Google business listing is a great way as well because we've had um, a, a few walk-ins. It was Friday. Friday. I don't know why Friday always seems like the busiest day, but we had three separate walk-ins Friday, and uh, a couple of them found us through our Google business listing. Just do a search on Google for a Google business listing, and what they'll do is they'll They'll send you a card, a verification card with a little code. You go back and, and plug that in, and then you just toss up some pictures, your your uh, your business hours. And if you're a home business, you can have it listed towards where it doesn't show your address, and yet it, it will put you up there, and it, it, it still will bring you business. Uh, the, the other thing is just social media platforms instagram facebook twitter um uh I don't, i'm not sure if snapchat works any that that might be a way who knows and, and also the the people that you do know your family and friends let them know what you're doing and tell them to spread the word and hand them some business cards and yeah i, I yeah I've that's said it, it really I've said it like a lot of times you just don't be afraid to ask for references mm -hmm. mm. and that and that girl that like, i came in that came in and i just like told her like look buy your vinyl bring it to us we'll cut it we still charge her the same price but it was a but i didn't mark it up because i mean i felt bad because she had done that like right so i didn't yeah. mark it up like for a rush fee but she's like actually grabbed the cards and she's like i'm gonna pass them out to everybody that asked oh and today i had a walk-in that offered to uh that not offer, tried to buy me pot. Oh my God. <laughs> or try to sell me pot, excuse me. He tried to sell me I pot and then he called me baby people. girl. <laughs> say baby girl, you want to buy He's some like, pot? All right, say baby girl, you got say smoke. Girl. And I was like, I'm nope. so uncomfortable. <laughs> nope. But there, God, there was something I wanted to do. So, so um, whenever you do get new clients, um, ask them to, to refer you to other people, hand them a oh. bunch of business cards. And, and like something I was actually talking about with Matt today was we were commenting that this time last year, we we're like way, way busier than we were last year. And I, my theory on that, honest to God, is that it's because it was an investment of, you know, just a year of leading up to like people talking well, and true. building up more clients and... It was just, everything is so much busier this year now because of last year. I, I think a part of it too, when we, uh, when I was kind of video logging and asking people's feedback on what they thought about getting a shop. And I, I, I think getting the shop too also has mm -hmm. quite a bit to do with that. It's, it's not 100%. It yeah, it's it's uh, there's businesses around here just across from us that uh, hi Leela that Lila? Uh, Lila? Clon? have been she said purchasing. Please say my name. What's that? Sorry, uh, Leela Lila Clon said, "Please say my name." <laughs> so I just tried to. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so some of the uh, I'll say one one thing too is is uh, when you are a home business, it can be a little weird for clients to feel comfortable stopping by so yeah we've um, lost some clients the, of it. the other thing i have not mentioned was uh google adwords or, or paid ads that will be helpful as well that's something i i had did in the past and it it i had some really great results actually there was actually a point towards where when it was just me um i was so busy that uh 
I wasn't able to keep up with everything. So when Shannon jumped jumped on board and, and we moved here, it's like More things like invaded. <laughs> things really are just on on track and uh it's 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 different. It's definitely different having the shop and, and being here and the vibe is different. I mean we're the vibe is we're, so much different. We're in work mode versus when you're at home. Uh it's it, it can be a little too easy to get distracted by especially if you have a family uh to, to get distracted by some of the things you need to take care of around the house. So I don't know. I, I just noticed a big difference in me just because you're it it separates everything and there's no like comfy bed like right next to the desk that looks way more appealing than yeah i'm gonna before. take a nap and <laughs> i'll get back to this client later or it's easier to sleep in for sure if you don't have these. oh my god there's no accountability unless mm -hmm. you're like really good at accounting for yourself and i my friends am not <laughs> shannon wake up <laughs> We need to do stuff. What 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 time is it? Two. Five <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon. Shut up! It's never that late. <laughs> it was one time. One time it was four. <laughs> but uh, no. Um, so I, I hope those those little tips were were helpful. I mean, that's uh, from my experience. That's been what uh, has got us to to where we're at. And uh, biggest one is going to be word of mouth. So. Um, and it doesn't help to have a couple. Uh, a and you're going to screw up. You. You're going to screw up. We're not perfect at what we do. We still make mistakes. Just learn from those mistakes and the clients that you do make it happen. All my mistakes, just, I blame on our vendors. <laughs> just uh, yeah. I mean, I, that's really what I do. They're going. They're going to talk. They're going to talk. So. And it's just like, I'm like, I'm never going to stop saying this. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Go out of your way. Be, like, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's a pain in the ass. It really doesn't because in the long run, yeah. they kind of know that it's a pain in the ass. And if not, find a find a very tactful way of saying it's a pain in the ass and, like, how you helped. Yes. Be sure to point out that, no. hey, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. what, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is to, to just kind of... Uh, you know, l let them know what some of the, the favors you did, but in, in a, uh, a tactful kind of nice way that, uh, like, say, for instance, the, the church shirts that we did, uh, we got that bid. Someone else was bidding lower than us, and I, I wanted to do it in four colors. And awesome. She, Thank you, Russell. She, she basically is like, we just want it in one color. And I was like, oh, it's going to look, it's not going to look good. So I ended up just doing it. And four colors, and so that that was one of the things where I just told her. Um, she said these are the best looking versions of this shirt because they send <laughs> yeah, the it's a four freaking colors. Yeah, they they send the same <laughs> graphic out to all these these churches, and uh, they basically so they all have the same print, and because they're on such a tight budget, everybody did it with the one color, and, and I was like, I was like. Um, so I, I showed her the shirts and she, oh my god they're they're the best looking ones that uh, we've seen out of all the the shirts that uh, are part of this VBS program and I said well you know I felt like it needed to have those those four colors in it and even though we charge you for one color I went ahead and did it in four colors because I I felt like that print just deserved to be. A four color print and I, I really do not think that uh, there was any way to print that with just one color and for for the results to to come out the way they had and we and we dropped shirts off too so yeah which we don't do a whole lot of that but it's uh exactly. it's definitely it those couple things definitely made an impression yeah plus we're we're charming we are. <laughs> Shit, I wasn't in sales for so like, many years. I'm not trying to blow smoke up uh, up y'all's asses or anything like that. But, but I, I think it's, it's about it's a 
a lot of relatable being, nice, being, being being nice friendly smiling, yeah. being able to laugh at a joke being able to like make small talk with them and going off of what you were saying Matt before we head out um I am not ever ashamed to uh just let them know hey by the way I waived this fee for you right I, I, mean, I, I point that out every single time I'm like hey by the way I wa- I waived the rush fee I waived the freight or something like that because they remember that and they remember they it and they like it and they come back to us because of it because you you add like the idea of giving doing them a favor plus you know being personable and doing a good job that's where that's where they the word of mouth and like you know all the extra customers come from you just have to customer service the shit out of it yeah yeah exactly i mean and, it, but, 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 make sure, but you have to make sure that they know that like they're getting like treatment like that right because you know sometimes they're just going to be like assuming like oh okay i guess that's just what they do it's like no i did you i went on my way to do you a special favor but you say it nicely yes you don't want to be cocky about it and, and just it's it's kind of like when you do your 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 friend a favor and and they they're appreciative of it but you're not really kind of like it's not like rubbing it in their face type of situation it's just I think with Daniel, Daniel, we had a family reunion. One. I agree, Rye, Rye Beats, 95% word yep. of mouth. Yep. And um, we Go ahead, Shannon. There, there's a... Uh, Question? Uh, no, Sundry Custom Designs and Prints yeah, just I know, said... Yeah, I, I said thank you. Yeah, we, we would love to uh, see your setup. That'd be cool. And is, is Sundry the one that's in Rosenberg? Who is it that's yes. in Rosenberg? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, We'd love you know, to see it. You know what? We we head to the Pearland area fairly often, and uh, we could definitely make a little time to even just swing by and check your setup out. And if you don't if, mind three tiny giants like running around. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we could potentially help you out with the a, a little advice if there's anything we see that could help you just kind of um, maximize. Your proficiency oh, in, no, in your not, shop. Oh, no, it's not Sundry. It's not Russell. Oops. Oh, that's... <laughs> Which one's Russell? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to keep on top of things over here. <laughs> Express Graphics. No, I'm in Rosenberg. Sorry. Hey, well, you know what? I'll tell you we'll what. We'll look at everybody's shops if they want. <laughs> Sorry about that, Express Graphics. It's, uh, we... We uh, we rant and it it can be I'm so it, it can be a, a little hard to keep track of of who's who. So especially when I really wanted to like, shoot, us a a shoot us a picture, shoot us a picture through email or go on our Facebook page and and post a, a picture up there. Ryan or, with us. Let's see. Please Thank let's you. all take right. care of all your customers. Customer service is number one. I'd rather pay more. If I'm getting great customer service, you get what you pay for. That is true. And Raya's in Cali. Man, I bet that's... How's Cali? What's it like living in Cali? It's raining right now I've always wanted to uh, at least go... I have family in Cali, and it would be nice to uh, go visit them one one of these days. I've been to the L.A. airport. That's about it. Thanks for understanding Express Graphics, because... uh, we're still <laughs> new sundry. to this and, <laughs> um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I am the worst at names mm-hmm. unless I kind of see the name over and over and over and over, which a lot of you guys that do tune in and, and chat, I, uh, you know, we we're we're seeing f- familiar, we'll familiar see. names and, and, uh, I'm awful at names. I, a face I, I never forget, but uh, just remembering names is hard for me. Shannon, I'd be like, it drives me insane. Hey, hey, Matt. So, uh, Carolyn, for example, needs who? <laughs> and I just stare blankly at him, like we just talked about this. <laughs> oh, so and so with the 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 church shirts. Oh, the church okay, shirts, like, yeah. It, it works so 
much better I know than those church shirts, lady. I know exactly who you're talking <laughs> about now. Like for me, I'm I'm very visual, and I have to like associate uh, names with certain things. Like geography for me was a real bitch back in the day. Did you have a question, or did you see something no, that came I'm up? No, I'm saying we need to wrap it up. It's eight ten. This is true. We're gonna check out y'all's comments, see if there's anything that that we missed. We're gonna wrap it up here soon because we are hungry and we have other things that Uber uh, delivery. Yeah, well, that's that's the I know about the Uber, Uber Eats. Eats. That's that's the Uber delivery. Uber Eats. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Uber Eats come. Deliver us some food. We're going to eat, print some shirts, and then we're going to be calling Uber again to get the hell out of here. Yep. We'll eat, <laughs> we'll, eat we'll print, and then we'll call another Uber. Or we can just yeah. like, have them stay. God, I'm so tired <laughs> of... charge for waiting. <laughs> I'm so tired of Ubering. It's getting expensive. Oh, so just kind of an update on the car. The car's sitting out in front of the shop, Looking up on jack very, stands. Very, very classy. We... Oh, God, so um, classy. I decided instead of trading the car in, uh, I'm very mechanically inclined, and it's it's the clutch. Um, started tearing it apart. The the guy that has a shop next door decided um, he's very helpful. Aaron has been very helpful. Love you, and, Aaron, if you watch. And he um, he's helped quite a bit to, to move things to the point where it's at. But so started doing that Saturday, and then Sunday. It just starts raining all day. It's been raining today, and it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. And I was like, "Damn it!" So it's like looking. Why? It's like looking so super classy, no. look, like on blocks. I don't but even two want to think the about wheels, it. Two of the wheels are gone. There's a uh, catch tray pan or whatever it is. I don't. Know. Yeah, the the transmission it, has to and, come out. And it, oh my god, it looks so redneck. <laughs> anyways, I don't even want to uh, talk about that. Although I just did. But, uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> you can do it. I call my kids the wrong name all the time. I do that often because a couple of them have uh, M's in their first name. I inherited that mm -hmm. from my grandfather. He never could remember my name either. He probably doesn't even my remember his name my half the time. My doesn't remember my name. She goes through eight even names on a good day. She gets to mine. In his 20s. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. what music do you blast when you're working? Oh, oh. Okay. That's my job. Y'all fancy. <laughs> you damn right. We got weeds growing up through the car and everything. It's growing up. It's it's growing through the engine bay and all that stuff. You like that? You like that? You, you like like you up. like how I, I laid that on thick? Uh, that's what's up. up. Okay. Oh, he's uh, the Express Graphics asked what uh, music do we blast when we were uh, working? Okay. Let's <laughs> let's talk about music because we can probably make this a whole nother show. Uh, Shannon, go. Don't touch the shop gnome music. The only things I'm not That's... allowed to play is Backstreet Boys and Sync or Celine Dion. Because I won't allow it. I, well, I put them on. I, if, if you want uh, me to get work but, done, I'm, okay. I don't want to hear well, that. It depends. It, it depends. Like, in the summer, it's like lately it's been a lot of Third Eye Blind, Dirty Heads, 311, Sugar Ray. And during the day. During the day. And at night, always, Evans Blue. it's going to be... Yeah. Evans Blue Dirt, did and, you mention them? I, no, not yet, not yet. It, like, that's for that night. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's uh, at night, it's Evans Blue, it's Disturbed, mm -hmm. Breaking Benjamin. Mm -hmm. um, and then if I'm, if I'm like, stressed out or something, Matt You were about to say me. depressed. <laughs> I was going to say depressed, because I was, like, kind of depressed a couple days ago, and you let me listen to Bowling for Soup. There we go. Yeah, so if I'm, like, stressed out or depressed, like, Matt will let me just put on Bowling for Soup because I'm a sucker for uh, pop punk. Or and My favorite thing is pop goes, uh, punk goes pop. Yeah, or we'll, we'll go in tangents where we'll we'll listen to uh, people like, uh, fuck, I'm drawing a blank <laughs> no, right now. No, or he won't let me. Uh, uh, who, who is that? Uh, hey, Blue Gomez. I saw the sign. Who's those people? Who, who face those to folks? face. We'll, we'll listen to, um, Man, I'm I'm drawing a blank on of all all the people that we listen to. Um, we'll listen to churches every now and then. Churches and the uh, churches and my, um, not chain my smokers chemical are for chain our, smokers, right? Yeah, they're for our chill time. Chain smokers we as well. We listen to them while working. They're uh, they're they're pretty cool. We like them as well. We're, we have a Express pretty broad. 
broad range of of taste. Um, well, yes, let's, I don't. You you mentioned Disturb, right? Mm-hmm. And um, a, a lot of the stuff that we do listen to. I mean, I'll, I'll listen to like the the Black Keys and Royal Blood and. Yeah. Um, Death from what. Above, 1979, The White Stripes, um, Nirvana is one of, one of my favorite bands, and then a lot of the, the grunge 90s type stuff. And then also there's the hip-hop side of it. Like, we'll listen to Jay-Z, uh, Linkin Park. Jay-Z and Linkin Park, that collaboration. That no, we, <laughs> yeah, um, I... I like some older rap, but we don't really listen to that. I think if if Shannon had a little sticker on the dryer that was her portion of it, it'd probably be no rap. Yeah. Um, also, th- there's a lot of sticker, old school the rap. The sticker says just don't fuck with the shop gnome's music. <laughs> yes. I am the DJ. Do not and mess I with will it. Decide what we listen but if she to. starts listening to something stupid, and I was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 um, no, 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 uh, uh-uh. uh. Actually. Okay, he's only outlawed three. The rest of them that he can't stand that he put uh, that I put on, he can't get away from the press long enough to get, uh, get the phone for me to change it. Oh no, I'll I'll completely get away from the press and swing the flash away and, and go over there and and I'll I'll change it. I'll, or if that she has walks never out, happened. I think if it did, I it would end in a fight. That. <laughs> Well, a lot of that, the reason behind that is, is we enjoy a lot of the same music. Yeah. <laughs> I would say we enjoy about 85% of each other's music. And then there's the other 15% where no, it's just kind of like. No, no Kanye West. Ever. Uh, <laughs> I love Kanye. I'm going to let you finish this, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. We, uh, we listen to a, a whole bunch of different stuff in the shop and. Um, man, I don't know that that that, that my, was. I draw my line at blues and jazz. That was barely scraping the surface. I, I there like I I enjoy Stevie Ray Vaughan and uh, Albert King, BB King, a, a bunch of uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd blues stuff that she just doesn't care about. But I'm not gonna torture her with that jazz. Every now and then I'll listen to some jazz, but not Mostly here recently. Yeah, that's that's like on my own stuff. But when I'm working on my own, it's kind of lately been like try, Royal Blood, I, I, I Queens of the Stone Age. Mm-hmm. I'll listen to them. Um, I just want to play peppy stuff. Right. And the, the, the stuff that I, I tend to like that Bye, she Ryby. doesn't You're is... Awesome. Uh, well, we'll see you later, ma'am. We'll, we'll see you next and time. Hell yeah, for the gorillas. But uh, anyways... We uh we had a great time hanging out with everybody. I think um, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have learned Bye, something from us. And we're going to go ahead and we're twenty minutes over. Get, we are twenty minutes over. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Check out uh, if you're checking out this video later than. How do I do this? Uh, is it over there? Yeah, we'll have some more videos over here for you guys. Uh, don't forget that we are an official rep for Cat Spit Production. So if you're looking for screen printing supplies or equipment, use our promo code Mikey Designs at cats, uh, <laughs> Cat Spit Screen Print Supply dot com. And we're gonna get out of here, guys. We'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget every Monday at seven p.m. Central Time. We're, we're your go-to show. Shannon, you want to say anything? Not before me we get if out you're of watching. Here? I'm sorry I cussed. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>